Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Ben Danun, and you're watching Israeli News Live. We are having so many things happen in the Middle East right now, so much turmoil. Uh, we have this issue going on with ISIS, who have, have this Sunni group that has just ravaged the country of Iraq. And I know there's a lot of people that are very concerned about what's taking place there. And I, I, I know, that there, of course, it's a whole new renewed interest of the Mahdi, the Muslim Antichrist, uh, as a result of this. But unfortunately, a lot of times we, we, we fail to recognize that the Vatican uh, is friends with the Sunni uh, Muslims. And they're the ones that keep pushing the unrest in different parts of the world. The Vatican really is wanting to destabilize uh, this region in order to be able to get world dominance. And one thing that they're also concerned about is the Iranians, because the Vatican doesn't have control of the Iranians. They're Shiite Muslims. So the problem is, in Baghdad, the Shiites had once again begun to gain power uh, in that region. And so it seems obvious that the Sunnis that are sweeping through the country are there to do what? Kill off the Shiites. Now, of course, you showed videos and footage and stuff of Christians and Jews being killed as well as they go through the country. But the ultimate goal by the Sunnis is to kill off the Shiites. They've always been at war with one another. And everywhere the Vatican goes, that they can break, create this unrest in order to stop the Shiites, they certainly do push those buttons as well. But it looks like, of course, to the carnal mind that what do we have? We have a, a, a gain of power by the, by the Muslims and that Babylon is going to be reestablished by this Sunni group. Well, the Vatican would like for you to think that. They don't want any eyes on them. They don't want you thinking that they are the Antichrist. They want to be the peacemakers. They want to be those that deliver uh, everyone from all the evil that is going on. They want to be the Antichrist. Remember, the word Antichrist means a, is, is instead of Christ, instead of the Messiah, a person that is a similitude or in like manner of the Messiah. No Muslim is going to be like Christ. No Muslim is going to take the place of Yeshua. In fact, if anything, they're so anti-Christian, uh, it's not even funny. So it would never fit the biblical uh, character of an Antichrist. Uh, well, naturally, I can see why most people would believe that the Pope would be the false prophet, but not many people want to believe the Pope to be the Antichrist. You see what it is, is where in, in the English language, the word anti just means against, someone that is against something. But in the Greek language, the antichristo, see, antichristo doesn't mean against, but it means in place of. And so we're taking a Greek word and we're trying to apply it in the English language because it sounds like anti in English, which is against, whereas in anti Christo, in the language that it's actually written in, the Greek language, it is a replacement of or instead of. And the Pope is instead of Christ. This is why they call him the Vicar of Christ, which literally means instead of Christ or instead of the Son of God. He is the Vicar of Christ. So it's very obvious when the very Pope's, when right above him is written, he is the vicar, vicarious filia dilia. He is the vicar of the Messiah. He is the one that is instead of the Christ. But I guess that's too simple. And I realize that, you know, with everything that's going on, it's, it's easy to want to look at these things and just assume that. But you have to understand, even if there was not Israel there right now, there would still be the wars going on between the Sunnis and the Shiites. It is a it is a ethnic war between these two Muslim factions, and of course, we forget that the Vatican created the Muslim religion. But the Shiites, who are very much radical, they don't realize that that the Vatican started this religion. So only the Sunnis have been loyal and faithful to them thus far. So a lot of things are taking place right now that are going on. 
Uh, something else I wanted to bring to your attention, and this was from a brother, uh, Brother James, that had sent us an article from Jack Van Empey, where Jack Van Empey had, had brought up uh, some of the articles uh, from uh, things that were written on Arut Shiva, and uh, talking about the Pope's recent visit, visit to Israel. Now, I know Jack has kind of taken a little turn in more support of the Catholic Church or the Catholic people, but he does recognize that there is a big part in which the um, Pope Francis is playing in the final days here. Uh, he looks at Malachi Martin, for example. But he brought out something that was very interesting. Uh, and so we thank Brother James for sharing this with us because I, I did a little further research on this. And I actually found the article from Arun Shiva where it says here, and this, this article is dated on uh, February the 5th of 2014. It says, Pope coming to Israel as uh, Sheikh Gavera. That's C-H-E for the word Sheikh Gavera, G-U-E-V-E-R, of the Palestinians. He's Sheikh Gavera of, of Palestinians. Now, this, in the article here, it actually states here, Pope Francis apparently plans to heed Palestinian authority, Chairman Mahmoud Abbas calls, and use his upcoming visit to Israel in May as a propaganda move for the Palestinian Authority. Uh, PA against Israel, according to reports in Mokha Rishon. The revelation comes from Rabbi Sergio Bergman, a member of the Argentina parliament and close friend of Pope Francis, who claimed the Pope intends to define himself as the Sheikh Guevara of the Palestinians and support their struggle and rights. Now, Jack Van Empey, he actually began to unravel who Sheikh Guevara really was. Much like Mussolini was in Italy who killed literally millions of Jews, this Sheikh Guevara was also a murderer. And he helped establish communism throughout South America and Central America. In fact, he was a very strong influence in getting Fidel Castro into power as well. He killed literally tens of thousands in order to establish establish communism in that region. And if the Pope Francis is coming to be the Sheikh Guevara of the Palestinians, he is coming to be a murderer against the Jews. Another amazing insight, to say the least. You know, if we would really start to realize and recognize prayerfully what's going on, you know, eventually you're going to find you can't buy or sell, saving you take this mark. Well, you know, what really is this mark? That's something that's baffled many of us. I know we look at the possibility of a microchip. Some people try to claim it's Sunday, you know. I can't say as I go so far as to say Sunday. That's more of a uh, Seventh-day Adventist uh, idea. But it doesn't seem to quite match the scripture because it says that you can't buy or sell saving you take this mark. Well, no doubt, the economics is going to be controlled by the Vatican because they keep calling for a one-world banking system. And even again, recently, they have requested that we go to a one-world banking system. Well, if the Vatican gets their way, then guess who's going to be over the one-world banking system? You got it, the Vatican. In fact, they have called on uh, being the ones to actually run this one world banking system because they said it's already enough that the, there's too many poor people and too many rich people and the balance is completely out of cater. So they want to level the playing field. Sounds like communism to me. No wonder why he wants to be Sheikh Guevara. He wants to take everything. Well, I highly doubt the Vatican is going to give everything they have to the poor but yet they will take everything you have. You know, what's interesting is we look back in history 2,000 years ago when the Romans were over Israel, and then they called in for this new taxing program, and all Jews had to return to their place of their nativity, their birth, to be registered. You don't think that history is not repeating itself? The Vatican gaining control of Israel once again? Soon they will have the world's economy in their own grip. And yes, guess what? You will return to the place of your nativity and you will have to register 
to be part of this new taxing system that the Vatican will establish. This is when you won't be able to buy or sell. No wonder why the different world religions are joining in with the Vatican as we speak. No wonder why we see uh, every denominational system coming home to their mother. That's why the Vatican reaches out all around the world, even reaching out to China and to other nations prominent around the world. They're gaining control. They're gaining momentum. And of course, we have a Jesuit pope, something that's never happened in all of the, all of the history of the, of the church. Or we say the church. Who knows? It's not really a church. It's just pagan Rome has become Papal Rome. I'm Stephen Bendenun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erhav Tov. Good evening.